Dead. April 21st, dynamic lower. Get ready to do some manifest squats. The guys are doing some box squats, and Jake, you're doing some low squats. bar stuff. Yeah, low bar pause squats. All right, I'm to hear here. this week. <laughs> what are you doing, pal? <laughs> I'm doing, uh, what am I doing? You're doing some ankle mobility. Box squats. Uh, oh, what are you doing now? Oh, right now I'm tell, doing... Tell the fans what you're doing. Yeah, ankle mobility. Shout out to Omar Esau. He taught me this back in third grade. <laughs> Back when you were in Canada. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, this is week two of our dynamic, Hello, uh, <laughs> dynamic lower. Jake's on week one because he missed two weeks worth of training. Yeah, he never, he barely shows up anymore. We don't really know who he is. Hey, so. leave a comment. Rest in peace, Jake. <laughs> Walking Dead in memoriam, Jacob Girardi, 2016. All right, so I'm doing these uh, box squats. And the dynamic wave on conjugate is the key is the minimal rest time and speed, form, and then the AMRAP is the same thing. So when we do the AMRAPs, you're gonna see us probably call it before we actually fail. I hate this guy. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, that's key. So keep that in mind. Dynamic, let's go. Come on. There you go, come on. Did you learn how to like squat just now or? And when you're done racket and stay there. Oh. Seven sets in, about to do my MRAP. Uh, last week I got nine uh, with 340, this is 365. So I'm expecting to get like five or so. So uh, this might be one of the last training sessions I have um, where I get to like actually do anything because tomorrow I got doctor appointment scheduled with the surgeon and I figure out what's going on with that. Hopefully I still get to train uh, for a couple more weeks. Uh, surgery could be scheduled maybe a week from tomorrow, could be a month from tomorrow. So I'm wrap over. Uh, I don't know how many I got. <laughs> uh, they said I got like nine. I only counted like six, maybe seven, but they were moving uh, fairly well. Just could not breathe. The same problem happened last week. I got nine with 340, and I just could not get my breath under me. So. But I'm happy with it. This is the second uh, second week of the wave. Next week, I do like 395, something like that. Uh, if if I'm allowed to train, so. Yeah. Ugliness. Yeah. Um, so that, I just did my sixth set, and the second rep kind of slowed down. But I just realized that I uh, it was uh, too parallel. I guess that's the word. I was like too upright. I was too upright, and it just it slowed down. So I just got to keep my momentum or whatever and then it'll go fast. I got an AMRAP coming up. I don't know how I'm feeling. Feeling pretty good, but. How many did you get last week? Six, I think, like seven, six or seven. So. so as soon as it slows down though, that's when I'm stopping. So I mean, I could get like, you know, probably like 500. <laughs> Okay, so I called it at four reps. Um, I had way more in me, but my speed slowed down, and it's all about speed and technique. April 22nd, on the way to Florida Memorial Hospital. 
gonna get checked out by uh, the surgeon, uh, Dr. Burkadell. Uh, he's gonna be the one that's gonna be doing the surgery. If surgery goes down, most likely it will be going down. Uh, probably not anytime soon. Um, more than likely two to three weeks out from now, minimum. I'm not really sure if he's gonna be sending me for any tests or anything like that. I'm not really sure what, uh, what they do there. But this is the, uh, the next step because I definitely do have an umbilical hernia and uh, got to get that taken care of. Um, training hasn't stopped. Uh, been going pretty hard the past uh, couple weeks. Um, uh, it hasn't bothered me. I haven't really had any pain or any type of uh, discomfort uh, in and out of the gym. Doing conjugate, I'm making a lot of progress in uh, different variations, doing a lot of different things that uh, I haven't done before. Uh, recently did 495 for a double uh, pause, which even without the pause was a PR. Uh, did uh, start working with high bar and uh, ended up doing 435 and a bunch of different like bench variations, uh, you know, with two and three board and floor presses and all that. It's been everything moving really well. So I'm happy to see the, uh, the progress in conjugate, hopefully, the carryover uh, to the main movements. The other guys, they've been doing uh, just as well. Uh, I think Jacob hit like a 475 on a box squat or something like that. So that's uh, pretty impressive for him. Uh, Ryan, same thing. His bench, he's actually moving around some pretty heavy weight. Uh, so lifts have been going pretty well. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, with the surgery, I can't lift for probably six weeks minimum uh, or touching any heavy weight. So I'll be there in about 15 minutes. Um, I'll probably get to see the doctor right away. I don't think I have to go through any like uh, any other paperwork or talk to any nurses or anything like that. So hopefully get some answers and figure out a timeline for this stuff because it's, it sucks not really knowing what uh, what's going to be going on. You know, I really want to get you know, some information so I can figure out you know how to plan everything. I kind of I kind of really hope that I can actually get into surgery as soon as possible, but. Then again, but uh, further out from now, more time to train. So who knows? So I'll check you guys after. So just got out of the doctor's. Uh, it could not have went any better, ever. So I go in there, uh, get uh, all the you know, routine stuff done, blood pressure, all that stuff, uh, height and weight. Uh, nurse checks everything and the doctor comes in and I give him the rundown of what's been going on the past month uh, with the hernia, the little bum, and then all the other stuff. And he asks, you know, uh, how do you think I got it? And I talked to him about, you know, I, I train powerlifting. And uh, he's like, oh, I also just started training powerlifting. He asked me, you know, if I lift uh, equipped or raw. So I was like, oh, this guy has some knowledge about, uh, about lifting. And he's like, I just started training uh, powerlifting because I'm going to be competing in October at a little gym called Elite Strength and Performance. When I heard that, I was like, just cut me open. Just cut me open right now. So uh, I told him that's where I train. I uh, told him my no he asked what my numbers were. I was like, this surgeon is fantastic. I was like, there's nobody better, nobody better qualified to cut me open than a powerlifter. So we talked about options. Um, for the surgery, uh, not really options, but like, you know, dates and uh, how soon I should get it. And he said, uh, sooner the better. Uh, he did say that if I opted against, it will get worse. Um, it is hereditary. Um, it's kind of unknown. I, I thought that uh, the, uh, the hereditary factor was more like prominent, but he said it's basically uh, just guys that lift a lot are more prone to getting hernias. That's just the way it is. There's really no shared uh, trait or anything like that. Um, so uh, Mondays and Thursdays are the surgery days. Apparently it's going to be a lot longer than I thought. Uh, the procedure itself is under 45 minutes. It's the uh, the prep, uh, the pre-surgery things that have to be done, like the, uh, meeting the anesthesiologist and getting all that stuff done. Uh, he said it would be a, probably around six hours total I'd be at the hospital. I mean, it could be less, and that's just maybe him, you know, ballparking a figure. But uh, he did say the procedure itself would be uh, less than an hour. Uh, you know, so. Uh, he then, he gave a pretty good description of, like, what's going on in there. He kind of said that there's a really small ball of fatty tissue that's poked through. Um, 
and he said you can feel it if because uh, he had me like uh, he had his finger on it and he coughed and it's right there he said it's really small but the risk is that since it's poked through um, that area is you know compromised and it could get it could get worse so uh, basic thing you know they, they they go in there they put the mesh you know in there and he was real like supportive of lifting uh, he said in uh, about three weeks I can be back to lifting heavy um, I asked him if I should be using a belt he said mainly for support uh, but definitely not wanting to use the belt to lift uh, maximal weight because um, I asked him I was like you know uh, using the belt would increase a lot of you know the intra-abdominal pressure would that be an issue uh, post-surgery and uh, he, he just he was like just throw like 225 on the bar after a couple weeks and start working up with that he really stressed uh, acclimating back to where uh, where I was at strength wise you know getting into the field doing that so uh, that's not a problem because uh, I was thinking way way more time would be consumed by all this um, the earliest I can get in there is actually May 2nd that's in about two weeks um, I'm probably gonna go a little bit later than that maybe three weeks from now um, get all the hip work and everything filled out I'd have to just give a call back to the office um, he said I would actually be able to do the July meet um, but I would not be able to obviously put in a lot of time and uh, be, be fully ready for it as a, as far as being recovered he did say that I would be um, he said I can lift heavy after three weeks I can actually do uh, cardio uh, directly after um, I can be back in the gym uh, lifting light uh, in, le in just under two weeks uh, so the timetable is a lot uh, more lenient and a lot uh, it's better just way better than I expected so awesome uh, experience I'll have to I guess I have to go back um, they have to go back for one one more visit and they do uh, I don't know some testing I think they have to actually take because throughout all this I nobody has taken any imaging of my abdominal area there's they've, they've I've been scheduled for a surgery just about by nothing but feel and me talking to them uh, which I thought was odd from the beginning, but uh, I guess that's just procedure. I mean, all three people, well, qualified doctors, that have, have touched my uh, belly button um, have all said that it is what it is and that I'll be getting surgery or surgery will be required. So if you made it all the way through the rest of the video, throw a like to the video, comment below if you have hernias or know anybody with hernias, or if you just want to say anything at all because nobody says anything and we'd really appreciate it. So, see you next time.